We found on the middle of the road and one hillbilly from Tatsiram. And so this is Saipod number 20, whatever. I don't Four. give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Anyway. It's 24. New challenge. New, new challenge. 24. New channel. 24 people. New channel? Are we on the new channel? We're on the new channel. Are now. we doing a new channel? Okay. I if thought we were going to go back on the channel on there. We're going to probably find out when this comes up. <laughs> <laughs> it's new channel means Saipod. Separate there. It's going to be called this for some reason. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so today. We are experimenting with uh, ASMR come. Uh, ASMR come. <laughs> ASMR come. I did not sign up for this. Uh, Mukbang come interview come hot ones rip off. Okay, now we just lost like five of the people who are watching this. So how this goes is every time you answer a question, we eat the spicy noodles, and uh, it's not that spicy. It's not that spicy, but we just made it spicy noodles for the spicy questions. Which I ripped off from hot ones. Okay. So uh, <laughs> That's how they do it! That's how they do it, man! That's how they and it, and, uh, and it, it looks so sad to me, dude. Okay, so like I was saying, okay, I'm speaking to Yeah, okay. So me Yes and, Daddy. Me and the father speak. Me and Kill Yes, speaking, Daddy. We have these two guys to respond to the okay, whole episode. Okay, anyway. So, so just to give you all a quick introduction. The man <laughs> to the extreme left, right on your side. For you, right on my left. Yeah. Okay. So this is Jump Hill. Um, he is a, a rapper. Yeah. Slash uh, producer. Slash, slash pro- songwriter. <laughs> songwriter. Yeah. Slash researcher. Oh uh, yeah, and a researcher. Yeah, man. We outside. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I did not sign up for this. He's taking my bed. And we have come, we have come to go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign up. Okay, we joke a lot, um, but this is Hapsum. This is Jumper. And this Jump is <laughs> I'm sure you've seen Hapsum on Pokemon. You know, he's Snorlax. <laughs> happy, happy. Happy, happy too. Happy, happy. Okay, happy, man. Wait for that song, man. This song. Yes, yes. I've been, I've been waiting for that song. Remake of Happy, Happy. Yeah, we would. I, I did not know there was a happy, happy original version. Anyways, we are here with the boys of Bayou Studios, uh, up and coming startup studio, which you can come if you uh, cannot afford Play Studio. Yeah, <laughs> or, or M Studio. Or M Studio, please go to. But Bayou we want the same quality. Wow. Yeah, man, same, uh, quality, same quality. Same quality. You're going to edit this, right? Yeah. Put some we never edited it. Huh? We never edit This is uncut, man. Uncut gems. Yes, yeah. it's like. Okay. Most Asian people. Okay, so first question: uh, sure. How long uh, and uh, origins of Bayou Studios? Eat. How what? Eat and answer the question. Origins of no, Bayou. Why did you all start Bayou Studios? And what is Bayou? What Studios? made you all think that? With what is Bayou Studios and whatever? Exactly. And answer the question. You, one of you can answer. Like, you don't have to. No, I am eating this. Okay, while he answers, do you eat this? We have to. This is my show. So um. Uh, I've always liked music personally. Mm. Um, I've listened to a lot of music, and I. You don't have to look in the camera, man. Yeah, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I grew attached to rap music. Mm. Uh, then you know I, I tried exploring some studios back then when I was in school. Mm. I wanted to make a song, mm. but all the studios uh, there were like two or three studios. I don't know. Maybe there was more, but I didn't discover them. Mm-hmm. But they were too expensive for me. Mm. So I decided, you know, to stop it. Let's stop. It. I, I could. Like I could buy my own mic for that price or something like that. Mm-hmm. So f- fast forward like three years, four years into college, I bought a mic. My dad bought me a mic. Then I started making my own music. Then I figured, you know, there could be people like me, like uh, teenagers, whatever, who want to make music but cannot because mm-hmm. they can, they cannot afford studio sessions. Mm-hmm. So I thought, why not make a studio myself where I can, you know, maybe give song for free or maybe the bare minimum rates. Of course, we just uh, at first we were thinking, you know, just give it for free. Why not? Like, it doesn't take much. Uh, I gain experience from it. I gain connections from it. Networks from it. Exposure. Yeah, exactly. 
and in the week first no but then we have to pay the rent of course we have to pay for equipment and stuff like that so we kept it at the bare minimum so that is basically the origin of Bayo Studios the reason we named it Bayo is because I think Nola suggested it at first everyone knows who yeah. Nola is the mean god Get back cow god <laughs> cow god the cow god man looking like a safari trainer yeah. from Anything safari world man that's basically it Okay, so that was since how many uh, people have come up and how many tracks have you made with other people? Man? I think at least 10. 10 tracks, yeah. yeah. No. But I, like the, I actually yeah. like the production quality. It's for, for, I've been to your studios and it's very yeah. minimalist. Yeah. Because <laughs> You're yeah. going for that, yeah. yeah that's a nice yes, it's intentional. intentional. Sure, yeah. it's, it's Yolan broke, that's for sure. Poor, <laughs> poor is cool. <laughs> <laughs> poor is the new black. Huh? My color, like. But in all honesty, yeah, poor has always was. poor has always been black in America. Anyway. But um, yeah, like came in. They say come in on America. That is for the local audience. So local. The, but yeah, like 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 I was saying, I've seen your minimalistic approach. And yeah. do you all make your own beats though, or is it like do you all take some free beats? Because we, let's yeah. be honest, there are some people who yeah. take free beats. Yeah. We we do take free beats a lot. But if they want, if our clients want, I, I make music as well. I make beats as well. Mm -hmm. But it, it is if they want, and they have to pay extra for it, of course. Okay, so what are the struggles? Now answer the question. <laughs> He's best. At man, what are the struggles? Money, man. Money, okay. What about the money? The, the, the making, the spending, the uh, not having? Like, specifically. Like, thankfully, we have a lot of friends who like really believe in our dream. Oh. They chip in like a few bucks, mm. and that's how we like. Uh, are able to pay rent mm. yeah and money is the biggest struggle i guess speaking of which i i, I have to give you all two thousand bucks i i didn't forget the phone call you gave me yesterday oh, shit. See the problem with that it's not just money equipment <coughs> method. we bought yeah. a lot of equipment from our friends even the mic is borrowed even the laptop is borrowed <laughs> of course we have a laptop yeah man and but shout out to yeah. the forest department i forgot where it is for like donating the furniture that they donated like six chairs. Thank you. Wow, how did you guys get in one table? Chairs there, yeah. forest department. Get this one, see. Connections, oh. connections. Yeah, connections there. You must be. It's donations, it's donations. The chair is Please take this chair made from a rare, rare species of tree that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> no, they just wanted to help a huge, yep. I guess, and this was a great initiative. I guess that's what we had. Cool, cool. I like that he said that his dad bought him a mic. Most other people would have probably been like, oh, you know, I bought, I hustled, I worked hard, and I got my mic, but then he's like, no, my dad got me a mic, which is, sometimes I wish people would see stories like that, where it's like, sometimes things just happen, there is convenience to it, right? But then everyone today, Correction, but I think it was my brother who bought me the mic, mm -hmm. yep, my bad. Whoever, yeah, but somebody yeah, gave yeah, you, yeah. bought you something. Yeah. Like most people, I'm sure there are stories where people genuinely don't have convenience, but I think that majority of people would rather put the story forward that they struggled yeah, to yeah. get to it. But then the truth is sometimes it's okay to have be a be that's a well, yeah. yeah to get to to have somebody who helped you and you know that's fine personally. Yeah. So what do you guys expect be able to become? Um, we're planning to <coughs> make it into a record label. That's yeah. what we yeah. hope at the end goal. You, you guys That's our end goal. want to get an artist in the album to do all. Yeah, exactly. Maybe make him perform. And shout out there. to the few artists that we have already signed, like Sexy Wachu, like oh, Dodra, oh, TTJ, Norla, Ijem, oh. Kinde. Man, and Kin Kinde. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just going to put my younger brother's name in there. And Kinde yeah. Priso is recording a song with this. That's what he said. Yeah. I did promise them yeah. that I said I'd exactly. record a song yeah. with them. Okay, cool man. I, I heard about this Nola guy, he's up and coming more time. Nola guy, he's making more time. Cardina? Jesus. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Pro player, then. Yeah. Damn it, Jesus. I heard it's not bad. But no, but then, like, w like since y'all are saying that yours is quite reasonable, I think that's what most people who probably have, if the ears have been worked up to the idea that, oh, this is a studio that's a little cheaper. Yeah. What is the starting price that we're going for? Is it like it starts off at this much and then it slowly increases according to how much stuff you want, or is it like a fixed amount? Yeah, that, that, uh, yeah. So we started 1,500. You're not answering the question, it's him. That's him. <laughs> I, I, I answer first. Okay. So the recording, not bad. 
So the recording is 750 mm -hmm. and the mixing and mastering is 750. Of course, they can choose not to opt for mixing and mastering. That's their choice. So it can be 750 if they want, but if mm -hmm. they want a mix and master from me, they pay an additional 750, so it's 1,500 base pay. Mm -hmm. okay. But if they want a beat, they pay extra, of course. If mm -hmm. they want a feature, they pay. Mm -hmm. That's how they do it. Yeah. Okay. So what is what differentiates you guys from the other studios in Qatar? The dirt cheap. No, man. Other than that, that. One's that. I mean, that's one of the. I would say that's one of the biggest selling points. No, is it cheaper than other business? No, I man. think so. Dude, no. I pay like. Um, I, I can't actually tell you how much I how much we pay at Play Studio when we. Okay. How much do you pay? You pay at X Studio. studio? It's definitely more than. Just say higher or lower. Okay. It's higher than three thousand. I'll just yep. give you a number. I already said it's higher than three thousand. It's done. But does quality. it like go above? Production quality is good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Okay. It does. Okay. Okay. Anyways, uh, so which motion is different? What what difference? We get uh, like lots of like uh, positive like comments like from the artists themselves that they get this space to like they also get to experience. Uh, the other talents that they have in terms of vocal like when they go to a certain like studio the producer they themselves say that oh damn it's hot <laughs> what's hot like oh, wait, oh but, but then that, that works either way i'm happy yeah, that's what this yeah. is a flop yeah. exactly but at least uh, they say that uh, like sing it in this way sing it in that way they slap some auto-tune put some reverb and they don't like the quality mm. And here, even though it's like 1.5, <coughs> and you might think that it's for one day, it's not for one day. Like the artist, until they're satisfied with their product or their sound quality or their whatever it is, mm. like or Master or something like mm. that, they can keep coming, they can like experiment, they can do more songs. And I'm really happy because the better the sound comes out, the better it is for our ourselves also, like as a studio also, because we get good product also. And, and just yesterday, uh, we had a client, uh, so he recorded a song last week, mm. and he was asking, you know, he wanted to record his whole verse again. And since, I think he told me that on, in other studios, they have to pay again if they want to record, re-record again. Mm. So he was asking me, do I have to pay? I said, no, no. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. You can re-record again. You can come to the studio, but you don't have to pay extra. I think. That's what differentiates us. Mm. Of course, this does not apply to every studio. They probably have like they, they're probably similar studios to us, mm. of course. But I think from what our clients say, that's what differentiates us from other studios. Okay, cool. Yeah. So what do you? Sorry, the you go. You go. <coughs> man, you talk a lot. You should eat, man. I don't, man. This is this is this is this is my show. I I I meet the room. But do you see yourself <laughs> ever <laughs> creeping? Creeping? Um, what I mean is, <laughs> usually a lot of, um, it came out wrong, but usually a lot of um, studios or anything that start off like this, right, they yeah, give okay. very good product. <laughs> For example, let's talk about like, um, let's let, let, let's talk it in terms of OnePlus, right? Yeah, okay. Like your studio is like OnePlus. You are giving good quality for reasonable rates. Yeah. But eventually now OnePlus has also started creeping their prices oh. up. Oh. Price creep, basically. Do you all... That is a question that I'm, I'm like, yeah. I, I think that yeah. that is something you'll have to consider at one point or the yeah. other. But first that would just creep your prices up because things are going to get more expensive. Do you want me to answer? Uh, but first it is. And I'm sure like yeah. you, you guys get a lot of customers. If you want to speak, you eat. That's the, that's the 20 minutes more of content. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <clears throat> uh, in the beginning, like we told you, know, we struggle with, struggle with paying rent and stuff like that. So we were thinking of maybe increasing it. Mm -hmm. But then again, uh, uh, I remembered why we started it because we want people to have affordable rates. That is our main reason we started. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, for now we're thinking we'll keep it at that no matter what. Uh, of course, uh, to get other money, we're searching for other projects, maybe related with audio or visual research. I'm doing, I'm trying to find some work on Upwork and stuff like that to fund our equipments, to fund our rent and stuff like that. But the, for the songs itself, it will mm -hmm. cost 1500 minimum. For as long as I know. Yeah. <laughs> My lips are really red, I know. Even Lubsum is finding side projects, so many oh. side projects as well. Okay. It's already paid. Speaking of which, uh, uh, Lubsum is now starting an oh, escort, yeah, uh, yeah. An escort business. Oh, shit. It's called Thick Escorts. <laughs> yeah, man. Thick spicy. Thick. You know why? Because the, the conversation is really thick and heavy, you know, so yeah. it up, so yes, He will talk to you about all the, your, you know, sexual needs. He won't give you them, but he'll talk to you about them. Yeah. He's not seen his penis since 19... <laughs> 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 well, to be honest, neither have I. 
<laughs> my, 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 I haven't seen my penis in a very long time too, but mine's more gentle. Yeah, penis? Exactly. <laughs> but sorry, so I'm also going to ask you a question regarding the whole, uh, not the whole. <laughs> 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 no, but like, uh, so do you all get l- a lot of customers? Like, I mean, you all, I, I've seen a few of the videos you all have made. Yeah, we come to that. We, no. mm. Isn't it overwhelming? Because I'm sure because of how affordable the price yeah. is, you're getting a more, you should theoretically be having a, a higher number of clients yeah. coming in, which then yeah. overwhelms because you're just one or two people yeah. mixing, recording, mastering. The problem is people, they do approaches. <coughs> they really come, <laughs> they're always messaging on Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, how much is it? I give them the rate. I 1500. Them, I give them the location, stuff like that, but they never. Show up, yeah. yeah Inquire on yeah. yeah. Trust in yourself, man. Trust in yourself. So come to me in like a week. Let's say how much people come on. Till now, I said two. two one or two. One or two, yeah, a week now. So that's about like three k a week worth of work a week more. You know what? How bad for just starting up, man. No, no. How long does it take for you to like come up with the entire track? For recording, it takes half, minimum no, three just, hours. For recording and stuff. Cool, yeah. Then uh, for mixing and mastering, since I do it slowly, I usually take around two to three days. Mm-hmm. I take my time. I keep sending them stuff, demo, you know, drafts. They tell me what they don't like, what they like. <coughs> I add them, I remove things. Mm-hmm. So it takes me two to three days. So what's up some doing this in this part of the talent control duo? Huh? He's learning how to record people. Record engineer. Engineer, yeah. <laughs> Learning how to record people. Marketing officer in Russia. Yeah, I do the legal work yeah. now for the uh, we have a contract. You're also security, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's pivot a little bit now. I have some told me he wants to tell me about his entrepreneurial experience. So she can she share with you know, about being the struggles of being a young entrepreneur. How old are you right now? I'm 24. 24. Jumping with the chest. 26. 26, man. 21. 21. Jumper is still a young baby. He's, he hasn't seen the 90s ever. Uh, at least we lived it while he was probably swimming in his dad's balls. Uh, so, uh, so tell me about the entrepreneurial struggles. Yeah, man. So. Yeah, man. <laughs> Before that, just, yeah, man. It's good. It's pretty hard, man. It's good. Okay, Kinde will eat now. Kinde will do the mukbang So, guys, focus on mukbang and eat it now. Now, podcast now. We do do yeah. two shit the same yeah, day. Okay. No. Hi, guys, and I'm. <coughs> Hi guys, no, I just asked you a question. I know the chill there. Made any different section? So okay, different section. Self-proclaimed entrepreneur. Self-proclaimed yeah. entrepreneur. You sell easy? Yeah, man. I sell easy. Okay, so then like, uh, look you. forward to uh, Mel easy. Like, if it's rebranded, then we'll let you know, guys. I know you. Okay, well, what is you guys? What is what is Mel easy and why is it Mel easy? Like, uh, <laughs> like there's a meme behind it. Okay. Me and my brother were struggling to find a name for it. It's easy. Okay. And I and I came up with this product because I just wanted to get some pocket money out of it. Okay. But then at the end it turned out to be a successful business. But then we wanted to have a branding. Mm. Everyone wants a branding, right? Mm. Just covering this shit up. Uh. So this is. Yeah, and right. why meal easy? Because <laughs> did you see this meme? Like, uh, is this chicken? No, it's meow meow. Did you see this <laughs> meme? <laughs> what the? <laughs> I mean, meal. man, man, test this, okay? Okay. There. <laughs> no, we can't. You don't plug into other people's thing, man. Channels, man. Fuck them, man. Okay. Google. Okay, that's why Google. <laughs> whatever helps <laughs> me ask. Yeah, man. Check it out. That's why we kept it meow easy. And we brought the first uh, like uh, rock pink uh, uh, branding to Bhutan. Now I did break a sweat though. But anyway, go on, yes. So it's based on a theme about the guy who says is that chicken and then the guy goes, no, it's meow meow. Okay, dele. And now we have recently <coughs> like upscaled it. Mm-hmm. We are working together with mamas. Oh. And now we are bringing this new easy to new heights. We want this easy to be in every household. Man, support us. And I... Fucking it's and become such a thing. Yeah, it's it's a, you guys want to do it? It's a YouTube ad. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. we are sponsored by Rich. <laughs> <laughs> we are not sponsored by Rich. Help some now. Oh my god. Daddy plug this to Daddy plug this. Fuck off, man. Entrepreneur stuff. Entrepreneur is doing this way. Yeah, like, we don't... We, we, meal is. we understand your meal, meal is, but... Yeah. I think what Sai means is... Why did you want to be an entrepreneur? 
What is the appeal of being an entrepreneur? Buy new is it to raise more of them. Buy new. But actually, it has its charms. Like you start with nothing, you just have an idea. Mm. You just work on it mm. and keep on working on it mm. until you find people who believe in it. Mm. If you don't find people who believe in it, make them believe in it. Mm. And then, mm. and then, mm. and then mm. you get investments. Ah. Investments. Okay. By the way, I think Hapsun is looking for investors, right? Yeah, I'm looking for investors. Oh. If you guys are interested, my uh, like shares. I'm not sure. If you if you like uh, if you like cats, you like uh, is it? If you like ground up cats that have been put into is it? Come. Then That's why it's called meow is it. <laughs> if you like cats, if you like is it? I heard Zling the regime is on me, so I can also go to the back and stuff. Just the bands and bagot in and that. Okay. And then and then there is this term for investments, right? Okay. Then basically you just bring an idea to life. That's okay. the term of being an entrepreneur. Okay. And I see lots of people who are doing this retail shop and okay. like. I call BS on them. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No I offense. BS, Shit, BS yeah. on them. This is not from me. Oh, shots fired! This is from yeah. Lapsum, not from me. The noodles was hot, but Lapsum's steak was hot. <laughs> because I call BS on them because, like, they're bringing shit in from other countries here and they're basically selling it for triple the price. Mm. And you're and buying it, aren't you? Yes. And we have to buy because we have to use it. Mm. But if I were to buy it, then. Man, I would have. Uh, yeah. oh, shit, man. It's venting season, man. Yeah, yeah man. But, like, listen to me, it's just BS. Because, like, like the main team of being, and they call themselves entrepreneurs, yes. Okay. Right? And there are so many people who call them entrepreneurs, and okay. they're really, like, encouraging them, like, yes, man, that's how you do it. That's how you make money. Making money, I guess, I, I can see the charm in it. Mm. But, like, I call them BS on make money, right? Yeah. Because like entrepreneurship so you're, is like you're bringing in, an idea, okay, that's what I mean, helping right. others. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So his yeah, issue yeah, yeah, yeah. is more to do with the fact that they're not doing anything that's original. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got I got, I got, it, I got understood. So first, you get an idea more. Yeah. Then you get someone to believe in the idea more. Yeah. Then you get investment more. Yeah. Then you get the investor to believe in the idea more. Yeah. Then you go to Australia and make the money more. I never mean, want to kill it. That's the fucking idea, man. I've been doing it all wrong. <laughs> Kangaroo is it. Then you go to Australia, man. Uh, That's why he's called Sam. <coughs> Thanks, guys. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. Also, uh, for those of you who probably don't like to watch the SciPod, you can always listen to the SciPod. Um, we are on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Yes. And OnlyFans? Uh, as soon. As soon. As soon. Yeah. Okay. Only cans. We have, we have, we have, we have helped soon with pasties on. <laughs> <laughs> but not where you think they should be. <laughs> Find out on only cans. <laughs> That's what you get when you want free advertisement. Yes. No, but then like um, the word entrepreneur, like this is a personal yeah. thing. But to me, the word entrepreneur has completely lost all meaning because I hear it everywhere now. Mm. Everyone's like, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. Now to me, it just means struggling businessman. Yeah. Like that's what entrepreneur means to me because you're just a struggling businessman. Yeah, businessman. I'm a struggling businessman. But in, uh, are there any success stories you know about entrepreneurs in Bhutan at least? How about the Green Away guy? Yeah, I think he really yeah, he's BBC uh, more. BBC in the more. BBC in the interview with Yeah. Did, did he? I don't know. About yeah, sorry. But I know for a fact that um, he's doing something which I thought is very interesting. So what he's doing is he takes uh, plastic mm. and breaks it down and then he makes construction poles out of them. And oh. they're very sturdy and that's one way to like recycle plastic. And he's got the whole like everything up there. Yeah, my lips are really red, aren't they? We take zoom with us. <laughs> at least uh, zoom on the lips, no? At least our new gimmick is working. Yeah. Zoom to come on. If uh, if you're if you're only listening to the audio version of this, you're missing out on my lips. Okay. Is it good, Nola? Nola, we good. Oh yes, I struggle to do that. Which? <laughs> <laughs> No, but then like, <laughs> so would you be like, this is weird thing now that I'm feeling like he's going to make a rap on Meow Eze and then he's going to produce it. Meow Eze, yeah. Okay. But Meow Eze, it's the old podcast in the ad. Yeah, we did it. We, we did it. And yeah, I think. Um, Check it out. Always for free. Check it out. For free. <laughs> no, man, I I've actually it. had Meow Eze and it's terrible. <laughs> 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 I gave him all my feedback. I'm kidding. It's good. It. It could be better, but it's yeah. good. And you know that I'm a person who I who's know ready. Really 
<laughs> and you know that I know you where you live. Yeah, and you've come to my house and you've had food at my house, so. But yeah, like it's it's good easy. I'm not saying it's bad yeah. easy. Just okay. for the sake of comedy, we have to be assholes to them. But the good thing is, he actually takes in feedbacks and criticisms. At uh, first, now I told him something, something about not not enough ingredients, yeah. And when he produced the next batch, he took the feedback. No, no, because I told him to um, marinate, so marinate. Because he learns from his mistakes. Yeah, not ah, yeah. so <coughs> I love you three thousand, man. Sup sup. <laughs> like and he even did the <laughs> shakam marinating thing that I told him, oh. which I was quite surprised because I was like nobody, nobody would ever consider doing that, but he did it, and it, I, I haven't tasted that batch, but I shall for free. Okay, and what else you want to talk about? No, but then like if your Bale Studios is going to be that cheap, yeah, I think like, I'm, I'm just still going back to price yeah, creep. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, I okay. Yeah. Because firstly. Things are not going to stay the same price. You guys might stay the same yeah. price, but other things are not. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do have to think about it. I'm trying to break them on live. <laughs> no, man, we have them. our ideas, but we don't want others. But the thing to is, the thing is, we, we started. It. It here. We're mm. not stupid. Yeah. The thing is, we started it out as giving. You know, I started it out as giving people for free, then, basically. And jobs. I'm sorry. <laughs> Recordings. <laughs> The recordings are free, see. Then they pay for the handouts. Government hand drop genius. Sorry, sir. Now we get it. That's the price point. That's why you get two to three times a week. It all makes sense now, Kim. Yeah, but then we go on. No, basically, I'll give you the idea of what we will do. Like in the future. Two hands. Now what we are going to do is lapsum, lapsum, lapsum. Sorry, 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 sorry. Stop now. Let them talk. Go on, guests. The only so reason we're railing on them so hard is because we we're very good friends with them. Please. Oh, even if they're strangers, us to be an asshole. Don't worry. Yes, go. <laughs> so what's our main idea is that no, no. Uh, we mentioned that we want to become record label, right? Mm. But record label in the sense like we don't want to like like take m- m- many things out of the artist like like some record labels i heard that they take 80 percent of the profit mm-hmm. because they do lots of production and all that mm-hmm. but we want to keep our artists as independent like independent artists. so you're not technically giving them the copyright the no, intellectual that property that's what, yeah. so what do you guys get in between in now return. what we get in return is our main idea of how we will make profit. Like, listen up, guys. If you really want to run a studio, nice. I'll give you the idea. I should have some in I should have some Yeah, listen. I'll keep going. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. He has to share. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's the main idea is that mm-hmm. we will become a record label, mm-hmm. right? We we'll sign with artists. We will get in touch with artists. They will record sound. <coughs> and because our like we want we choose quality mm-hmm. over quantity. Mm-hmm. That's true, right? Mm-hmm. We there are ten sounds in our like sound sound cloud. You guys take it out. Okay, mm-hmm. plug on right now, play because copyright since we us, we can finish yeah. on YouTube. I'll we'll pay you more. Okay. Not another I mean, they, they did they did Lotus Sorry, remix. Not another song. Yes, Lotus remix. Okay. We're on SoundCloud. Uh, so we don't have any content on YouTube right now. SoundCloud is a place we need to plug right now. Let's see. Uh, not another love song. Not another That's love our song. most popular song. Right now. In the meantime, please. Yeah. Another love song is actually a, another love song. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, background music. Okay, okay. now how we are going to make profit is that we are going to do shows. Oh, okay. And while doing the shows, we are going to pay the artists, but also we are also going to get paid from the shows. We are going to find the place, we are going to deal with those, we are going to deal with the ticketing system, we will also do the footages there, and for each song, we are going to put it on YouTube. So that we technically also get the money from YouTube. Mm. And rest is like history. History. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, we haven't thought about it like in depth right now, but we know that being a record label is our end goal, of course. Mm-hmm. We have like thought in depth how we will operate, how we will run stuff like that. We take it at, uh, one step at a time. Mm-hmm. But it, are you only considering doing rap or is it like... Of course not. Like this song is a very pop, pop, pop heavy it sounds, EDM. It, it sounds pop yeah. rock. Yeah. Uh, we, we do all genres. 
Of course, yeah. what if somebody comes and they just want to record the vocals? They've recorded all the music instruments somewhere else, let's say, yeah. and then they just want to record the vocals. Would they still be charged 1500? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, this is, this is, these, are the, yeah. these are the questions. Get an earphone, zoom in on you, microphone in me, and just do download Adobe Audition, and you're good. And I'm getting a call. <laughs> Who's calling you now? Girlfriend. <laughs> Government reveal in the next episode. Just kidding. Face <laughs> reveal. It's this one. It's this one. Face reveal. Ten thousand likes. Okay. Hundred subscribers. Yeah, done that. Hundred subscribers. Okay. Hundred subscribers. New, new, new channel. Subscribers. New channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what was I going to say? Ah, uh, then what? What are you going to ask? No, no, no. That was my thing. Like he had mentioned that uh, that time that seven fifty for the yep. mixing, seven fifty for the recording. So yep. I was just thinking, if somebody just wants to do recording, would it still be fifteen hundred? Yep. I mean, it's the same as a <coughs> rapper bringing a free beat from YouTube. Mm. It's same. It's the same thing. They pay, they have to pay one thousand five hundred, regardless of whether they have the music or not. Because they they need to do the mixing and mastering. And and if the they don't want to do the mixing mastering and they want to take it else, and they only want to do the recording or using it's our pure mic. raw recording. Mm. That's that would be seven fifty. Seven fifty. Yeah. Okay. 750, yeah. Ah, okay. So if they don't want the mixing and mastering, just want to record the vocals, yeah, yeah. then it's just seven fifty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then. We've okay. also tried doing a contract, you know, with the clients. We wrote a contract. Like so they, they you gave us yeah. three songs. No, no, that's no, no, like that. You come do three songs, you pay us this much. Yeah. Yeah, and even though, I think I guess yeah, in that yeah. sense, but they can take what services they want mm. in terms of recording. Of course, yeah. recording they take recording they take mixing and mastering if they want to be they take they want an instrumental they want a feature, and they you know they see what they are getting there basically. But they were price total cut the Kamchi Omega, what they signed up for, mm -hmm. and they signed that contract. We've used that contract in two times only. Mm -hmm. yeah. So start doing a Two months, three months. Two months. <coughs> in yeah. And in those two months, they've shifted their office twice. No, the one, It's the now same, it's but one floor down. Yeah. Bill 301. 301. Namgi Plaza. Yeah, Plaza. Soon he's going to be number one. And this guy won't stop plugging entrepreneur <laughs> more. Yeah, Jeez. I have to give. I just say I really had time because he's going to be the editor now of Sidepod. Yes. Yeah, Shaq, man. That's why. Right. Look, look at us, man. Look at the budget. We don't even have the green screen anymore. Hashtag super editor. Look at the guest we got. Life sucks. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> <laughs> look at like, Kinnis so poor. He didn't even get a haircut. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna get a haircut though. I can afford a haircut. How much is it? Hundred. No, okay, I can't afford that. There's <laughs> no more metal deal. No more. The price of the haircut has gone up. Eh? Well, now petrol and thing have gone up again. Yeah, My God, okay. cannot man. Diesel the five million gas. Yeah, no. it's hundred and what now? Fifteen. Yeah, hundred and twenty diesel. Diesel and one fifty for petrol. I'm going to get a horse now. How much is karma feed? Ask not. <laughs> Norla, how much is karma feed? Most. <laughs> Okay, so get a horse, get karma feed, or either don't feed it and replace the horse every every week. Isn't mm. that doesn't that seem more expensive? Two two weeks. Horses aren't cheap. Uh, the alcohol is bad. Three is the horses. Cheddar cheddar horses. Oh yeah, cheddar horses. You get three cheddar also. Inna. Yeah. And the cheddar na do. You get three cheddar. So cute. I nearly got impaled on a cheddar bull. No? Huh? <laughs> how does that happen? <laughs> Let's say that story. I will tell you all how that happens. So. Every morning I go for my walk up to Sangye Gam, right? Mm. And I usually run back downhill. Mm. Why? Because it's, it's dangerous when you with your vision. No, it's usually there's no one there in the mornings. But That's what you think. <laughs> exactly. No, but then like, um, so at around 6.30, the sun started rising. <laughs> English, second language. <laughs> the sun started rising. And so as I'm running down, the sun's like right in my eye. So as I was running, I just did this, and I'm glad I did this because as soon as I did this, my eyes adjusted and there's a bull right there. <laughs> and I, I that's why you shouldn't be fucking I, running. I like I my reflexes are that quick. I managed to dodge it, but then the bull also got scared. But I was just thinking, if I hadn't done this, I would have basically like right because the bulls, <laughs> I would have just been like <laughs> on the bull. I am. Just and the worst <laughs> part is there was nobody running that day. Yeah. So I would have probably been dead on that bull until somebody, <laughs> like until a car drove by, there'd just be a bull with like me, like hanging off of it. Guys, get and not in the right way. Guys, get to be who's so good, it's me. That's why I don't want to so know, but you feel by a bull and then, yeah. <laughs> Background, what I'm a jester, he's up to Tarzan. No, but then yeah, like nearly got impaled by a bull. Yeah. 
uh, nearly got hit by a car. Just, oh. just don't run. How about that? I like to keep. I like. I like my exercise. Yeah, walk, but don't run when you're with your vision. Man. It's, it's fun dangerous. to run. It's Have you ever not run? I mean, besides, you no. Know, sometimes you get in an argument with your wife. You don't run. Yeah, but we, we have eyes. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> we have vision. You can. You can, you can I run. have vision for the future. <laughs> future. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have vision. Yes. I had a dreamy man. Yeah, I love wrong. that. <laughs> And we are talking about vision. Tick T music video is out now. Check it out on Juno Studios. Man. You know what we're going to call this episode? Plug. Plug after plug after plug. Yeah, the plug. The plug. Plug talk. Plug, plug talk. talk. <laughs> <laughs> plug, plug, plug. Plug wars. Plug wars. Yeah. The plug slug. You do check out, man. No, but then you guys make some good videos also. Is it you or is it Junior who's talking to videos? It's Junior who's making the video. Although there is a video, y'all should really watch the Lotus Remix video if for nothing else. But just to see Hapsum standing awkwardly doing this throughout, and everyone else is like vibing. Because everyone and drunk. Hapsum was the one. Why didn't you drink? No, because I was the one who was looking after the studio. This, this is called asking for a taxi. This is called g- getting a head from a very tall woman. Or sigh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, even more. There's an interesting story behind why shooting this music video. Yeah, go on. This is what we do. Yeah, we yeah. want stories. Don't just talk about your okay, work. Talk, yeah. tell us like weird shit. Like talk about clients who is plug anything. If you plug anything, I will plug. First of all, first of all, like usually we leave the plugs at the end of the video. Really sorry, we haven't done this shit. Can you just plug this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. The story. Okay, the story is that while shooting this music video, first of all, you should go and check out the music video. This is really good. Go on the story! <laughs> but like, while doing this music video, it was uh, like, first there were like only five of us, originally five of us, with Jamyang the music video, like, he was the one directing the music video. Mm. And they brought alcohol, like shit ton of alcohol. Mm. Then they all drank because they wanted to get caught. I mean, that's oh. what you do with alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. No way. No, no, no. no. no, no way. Way. Listen to me. They, they, drank, they, drank, they drank, drank the alcohol that they bought. No, listen we to me. We drink it. But listen to me. We only do that with juice. No, listen. The best part is coming. But still. It's always the best part to come. But go Still, on. they didn't get the confidence. Mm. Then suddenly, uh, one of our friends called. We called them. He brought shit ton of people. That's why you can see so many people in the background. I did not. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a small room, but it feels like it's a big room. Then while we were doing that, it was like almost two in the morning. Mm. And while doing that, we got like like everyone went doing to what? smoke. Everyone went to smoke, and I was I was downstairs in the building. Like then I could hear a footstep coming from down there. Mm. <laughs> then I just I just saw a stick, mm. <laughs> a long ass stick. And it was the caretaker of that building. And on the other hand, she had a she kitchen knife. She. She, wow. Okay. She had a kitchen knife. Okay. The yellow one that every okay. everyone has, right? The yellow one, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she I has this. <laughs> because she was like, she saw someone like coming up and down. And I believe it is one of the members of the music video. I'm not going to like reveal that. Because we are was like, because huh? they were drunk <laughs> and she was really scared and she was like to me <laughs> he was probably beep beep That's what we all happened. know who it was yeah. but I mean <laughs> <laughs> when no Hapsum really that room actually is big it's just that for you it's small no <laughs> man it's really small yeah for you <laughs> bomb <they were. laughs> so yeah do check out the lo- <coughs> Lotus Remix <laughs> Something got stuck in my throat. <coughs> <coughs> so I take over. I don't know. Something hit my throat. <laughs> Big or small? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Too cool. Yeah. Huh? Small there. Yeah. Anyway, it's gone now. I don't know. Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has a nice personality. Uh, I have a nice personality. How <laughs> <laughs> soon? But who cares about you? Same topic, man. Why do you all have a tube of Vegemite in your closet at Bayou? Yeah, you know, yes, in Bayou <laughs> Studios. They feed you Vegemite, which is the <laughs> grossest thing yeah. I've ever Vegemite eaten. Yeah. Australians y'all are weird. I, need, I think he bought it from Australia because that guy in the UG, Where else would you get Vegemite? Uh, we helped him make a podcast, but he also for a college project says okay, payment yeah. for Vegemite. For he paid you in Vegemite? Like, that's not even like good. He paid you in. Not, not paid on you. I'll send him it. Thanks. Yeah, that one. He doesn't have an Aussie accent. And. Australia comes to the party. 
I think probably all, all of his school life, uh, middle school and up probably. Oh, okay. ट फीमेल Rise the blinds. You have an Australian accent at one point also, no? No, you did it. No, okay. So Australia do? Huh? So Australia do? No, yeah. Why is everyone in Australia for some reason? Yeah? The this fucking Australia man is that fucking Thanos man. That the yeah. I am inevitable. See the fifty percent population gone, guys. Man, that's that's. Poor Thanos. Poor Thanos. <laughs> We need to get the six infinity stones and take that thing. No, you know what the you know what the six infinity stones are. Come on, say what you know. Say what in Australia. Yeah, in Chu. The the six infinity stones. Um, uh, maybe not six, but there are a few. So, uh, first is your college of college offer letter. Uh, your SOP. Um, what else? Is oh, your your MC, your marriage certificate. Visa. Your V. Yeah. Fake what? Your visa and your fake. You know, and. and Uh, you should do one. <laughs> your air ticket. So let's say. So these are your six in, in infinity stones. I am inevitable. See you on Cyport fifty two. It's Australia. We just got to Cyport twenty four. So the guys, bro, you been learning the music, da, bro. This I'm I'm being an entrepreneur. I'm being an entrepreneur here, man. It's not so much. It's more about entrepreneurship. I wouldn't mind washing dishes, though. And I like washing dishes. I washed dishes in Japan. And I realized how hard it is. Well, I think you, like, it's like washing dishes is super zen if it's your own dishes. Yeah. But then if yeah. you're like doing it at a hotel or a restaurant yeah. or a yeah. diner, no, that that shit is stressful. Yeah. But it was really like a, it's like, like an anger humbling. management class. Mm. It's very humbling because I realized like you know that I used to wash all my dishes. So when I was in Japan and washing all the dishes, I remember all the karmic debt that I had to pay back. <laughs> Kind of nice bitch. It was nice machine. It was a sushi restaurant, also like dishes, chu chu and so on. So you put it in one, no. So you come, tuck, you come clean out. So, so wait, you're not actually washing. No, no, no. There are two types of dishes. There's a sushi dish. There's a bowl. There's cutlery. There's chopsticks. So different, different types. But for the specifically the dish, Anzu, you put one more, tuck, clean things. But it doesn't come one because people are eating constantly. It was like rotating. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that. So we have to cut there. Anuji stuff. Anuji, tak 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 tak. Yeah, you must. You constantly monitor the whole cleaning area by one person. I should have sampled that. That would be so good for the next lap. Tak 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 tak. I'll go fucking crazy, man. Six hours. Tak 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 tak. Shit. I'm chaos. By the time you want, you lose a little bit like balcom consciousness, no. So then just that, it'll go like that. That it'll go up here and it'll fall over, no. They won't watch this. I'm kind of thinking about it. It's a sushi restaurant, man. No, but the, doesn't sound like you're describing a sushi dish for you. <laughs> sushi dish, <laughs> sushi dish, sushi dish. I'm sure, okay. And then no, I get that. No, but the way you're describing, but I guess that's imagination. Because my brain is thinking of something else entirely. So uh, okay, like dish is like this, okay, and there's a hole. Okay? I know what a dish <laughs> looks like. Okay, there's a hole, okay, and then you spit it out. <laughs> then it goes in the hole. 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 It comes out one. Okay, so imagine you put two. So go a clean. So go tap, tap. Okay, so imagine you put like hold relax. So go tap, 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 t
There's yeah. thousands of people who just order tea from there. Yeah. They bring it to our doorstep. We just keep it Shout on the doorstep. <laughs> okay, here's the real question. They're just plugging <laughs> stuff. Here's the real question. Does making music oh. get you holes? Girls. Get you holes, man. I'm trying to be polite, ladies. None. None? Zero. No. No. Okay. What's better? Strumming a guitar or rapping? Strumming a guitar. Strumming a guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Jamming. Jamming. I thought he left. He's strumming his guitar. His guitar. He's strumming his guitar. No, no. She rap. Baby, you got any that from 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 rap? No, but nowadays I think a lot of people are into rap because even while I was because you remember he said the studio mm-hmm. and I thought you meant Beal Studio. We, mm-hmm. I thought we were gonna do the side for the Beals. I went there and waited for an hour because the bloody studio was locked. The amount of people that went up that building, mm-hmm. all of them were blaring hip hop. So I was like, okay, the amount of people who listen to rap has really increased. It. But the amount of people who think the hip hop has increased. Yeah. I think everyone can rap. I don't think that people can't rap. I think the substance in the lyrics is what it's kind of sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but that's a personal thing for me. I I pay a, uh, like I'm somebody who pays a who who really pays attention to the lyrics. No, 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 no. I think it's the same anything because like when the rappers which we look up to are like they are like one in like a hundred thousand people or yeah, the shitty rappers they are like one emerging. So imagine the seven hundred thousand population unless they have hundred one like or slow rappers they may more maybe get one five thousand rappers in Bhutan. Let's say theoretically, and out of that we all get one good rapper. It's very rare. Maybe in like. Okay, okay, name your favorite ten. rapper of Bhutan. From Bhutan. Mm-hmm. From Bhutan, yeah. I'm putting you in his huh? yeah, the, the cow god, man. The cow, the cow god, man. The cow god. He's a pro player, man. Pro pro player. Player. Okay, now let's do top five. <laughs> top five B- Bhutanese rappers, yeah. Okay. We got cow god. We got 61 shoe. Good. Shout out to the good. Actually, uh, yeah. you know what? Ken B is underrated, man. He's yeah. 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 bad, man. He's got yeah. a lot of tune voice. I like him, man. Yeah. He's different. And uh, he shout out to Big Bees. And I think, I think, Cho. We had, we had Rona here, dude. We had Rona here, dude. We had Rona on the show once, dude. We had Rona on the show once, dude. Yeah, man. We had Rona too. But Rona has not released in a long time, man. Tap, 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 Drone is a friend, he raps, he's good at rapping, but we have not seen much material from him coming out, but I really enjoyed that. Was that Funk That? No. Funk That was a good song. Yeah, man. Funk Oh, yeah, yeah. Was Wasn't song. that the one with Cho? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good song. It was a good song. Yeah, the music video was really nice, too. Yeah. Very bright. Very what about you, Kinnigi? Top five rappers. <laughs> I would actually have to say what Sai said. Like, I like Killer Wancho. I like Ken Beats' stuff. I like Sexy Wancho because Six, of how... Six, I like... Of course, I like Norla as well. I have to mention. I only beca- got into sixty one because of Nola. Like, he showed me the shot. No, like I like sixty one too because. This bullying, this bullying, this bullying. Up, 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 ring, ring. No, I like I like sixty one too because of those idiosyncrasies that he has, which I think is really like, sexy, fun to listen to. Sexy, do you love me? Are you ready? What's the second verse? And I mean it like unironically. He, he, this is, this is nice the first time I listened to him, I was like, this guy is not rapping on the bar. I like it. Chilling, chilling, thing my favorite thing. Yeah, And now, because of Norla, they have been humming the chorus for the new song that's coming out apparently. Happy, so. happy. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. Okay, top five rappers all time. No, no, not all time. Okay, sorry. Current gen. Not Bhutanese. I don't listen to a lot of Top 5 Top 5 Mr. 205 Mr. International Mr. International Mr. Dale Mr. Worldwide is it? Mr. International Mr. Worldwide Oh wait shit Who's International? Never mind I don't know who's Mr. International Who's Mr. International? I don't know Who's Mr. International? Ah He made that up He made that shit up Is it Worldwide? Mr. Worldwide Okay I'll listen Playboy Carty Playboy Carty Okay uh, I like Kanye West New Gen Zumba because he has some new stuff. Okay, no, no, I'm not saying New Gen like right now. Oh, right now yeah. so Ken, Kanye. Ka- Ken Carson, Lam Che, I like him a lot. Okay. Denzel Curry, I like him. Okay. And so it's kind of, I forget me. Kendrick. Kendrick, yeah. Mm-hmm. Staples, Shiggy, Shiggy, Shiggy. Chico. Uh-huh. Norla. Chico. Ajan. Or she said Sanju. not from Bhutan, Jackass. Not from Bhutan? Yeah. You said Ajan. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Oh, anyone, anyone, anyone. anyone. Yeah. All time, yeah. She got the music now, she got rap now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Again, bloody, he, I mean, all the likes. artists, these guys who made music. No, fuck yeah. out, Jada. Okay, but this is the end of the podcast now. Just plug away now. <laughs> <laughs> shout out this, shout out that. Shout out this, man. <laughs> okay.
in the top 5 ukulele players <laughs> <laughs> just cuz i play i like you play the ukulele okay top 5 bands oh top 5 dance people like <laughs> <laughs> oh shit of course oh, 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 in that case i've got so many uh, stevie you. stevie wonder Wonders, yeah. blind willie mctell oh, um richards jimmy fox play jimmy fox Okay. Actually, are there a lot of blind artists? Hang on. No, blind artists are fucking the top five bands. Um, Bam of God, always. Mm. Um, recently been listening uh, to a... What was that band? Fuck, I forgot the band's name. Um, I wouldn't say band, I've been listening to a lot of Bo Burnham. Mm. I love Bo yeah. Burnham. Mm. Uh, the new album is really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh God, I can't... You can't make me choose. I love all the bands that oh, I love. Just, the Yellow first five pop in my head. <laughs> that pop up in my head okay um, <laughs> lamb of god cattle decapitation um the miss of metallica still love metallica um oh, shit rage against the machine is there always mm-hmm. and um oh yeah uh, <laughs> fuck uh, alice in chains okay if you guys got any of that please listen to any of those <laughs> listen to alice in chains they're good actually listen to all the bands i told you they're really good okay, if you into think the rest in the genre four five uh fairy porn stars Top five pods does that. And this is it for Sidepod <laughs> episode 24. Catch us next time on episode 25 with our new guest. Yeah, our, our, he's more than that. Hi, I'm Junos, new marketing show. Sh- sh- <laughs> yes, by the way, uh, please do subscribe to this channel. Okay, if, yeah. if we put this in this channel, but if it's on Juno, then subscribe to Juno. <laughs> subscribe to Sidepod. Oh, yeah. you know and, and we're back we'll be consistent and, now and, and uh, thank you to all the fucking kids who come up and say watching Atu Sai Pods podcast man we appreciate oh. it I appreciate it man it's, just, it's for you guys man I, I, otherwise I was on cancel this shit because no one kept for delaying the editing that's NB match okay so if you see me in town I'm Atu Sai Pod and I'm he's Atu Sai Pod each other I'm Atu Sai Pod but he's the pod inside pod okay guys remember too I'm not Atu Sai I'm Atu Pod stuff Okay, if you guys meet me in town, and this is like I said, Kaputiku and uh, a jump, a jump from a jump. Hillbilly from Sidon. Okay, yeah. and with that, I uh, hope to see you guys. Oh no, you can plug in now. One more plug, Ben. Oh God, he already did so much plugging. Plug fuck, fuck the plugging. If you want to listen to music, to Bay Records. If you want to listen to music, go to Bayo Studios. If you want to do other music video shit and all the other shit, we have Junior Studios. If you want me and Kine to come to your house and murder your family, you know what to do. See you guys next week. Fuck off. Also, please check out Get Up Bay because we've got new episodes coming. Yeah, do it. Talk about that. Check out Get Up Bay. We got more episodes. Don't forget that the shows up there. We got like how many episodes? Like six episodes. Uh, the fifth one's coming out on the twenty first of July. We got like six episodes online. No, this five right now so far. Technically, the pilot, an air pilot. That would be five. It will still be five because okay. the fifth episode will come out this month. Okay. Okay. Mapa. <laughs> they don't get that reference. <laughs> they, don't <laughs> they don't get that <laughs> reference. No one's watched it. After they was. Yeah, so, w- so watch can it be to get that reference? Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's a plug I like, man. Mappa. <laughs> okay, that's all. See you guys next week. Mappa. <laughs>